Ah, I wonder what the best way to make power is. Hold on. What about the top 18 best ways to make fuel? Hmm. Welcome to my video on the top 18 best ways to make fuel. Actually, there's only two ways, but then there's many variants of those ways. So what we have here is 18 production lines along here that each bring in 100 crude oil and they each produce the varying amounts of power. So what are the two variants? The main two variants are you can make fuel directly from crude oil. That's the simplest way, but it's also the least efficient. You can then also make fuel from heavy oil residue and then there are varying things you can do with that heavy oil residue you can turn heavy oil residue directly into normal fuel you can then instead use the diluted fuel packaging process to turn heavy oil residue into fuel by combining it with packaged water and then unpackaging it you can then take that identical process and combine that unpackaged fuel with compacted coal to make turbo fuel. Finally, you can take heavy oil residue, combine it with compacted coal to make turbo fuel heavy, which is another alternate recipe. So you probably are wondering then why this is titled the top 18 best ways to make fuel when really there's only two ways. It is all about the variance and it's a way of telling a story about how much building is required. The whole purpose of this video came from the discussion about diluted turbo fuel is the best fuel to make. Everyone always talks about it. Me personally, it makes me cry thinking about how much building is required to make it happen. What do I mean by that? This line here, this is how much power you can generate from uh, diluted uh, turbo fuel. That is out of 100 crude oil, 7.2 gigawatts of power. That's a wonderful amount of power, but it's also 48 generators you have to build. And I just get a bit over the, there's, there's a packaging and unpackaging process to put together and all that. This whole uh, video is about that story, providing a visual of how much building is required. So if that's just a hundred crude oil can you imagine if you did 600 crude oil these bottom two are just the standard crude oil straight to fuel and we've got crude oil here combined with compact coal to make turbo fuel they're the basic choice available then we have sets of four which are all the same they are all based on heavy oil residue so this one here this one here this one here and this one here are all the basic heavy oil residue to fuel. So this one is, if I made plastic from 100 crude oil, I'd have a set amount of heavy oil residue over to make fuel. This is rubber. This is the alternate heavy oil residue recipe. And this is the alternate polymer resin recipe. And then you can, instead of turning it directly into fuel, you could dilute it with the packaged diluted fuel recipe. So this here is the plastic version of it. This is the rubber version. This is the heavy oil residue version. And this is the polymer resin version. Then you can take that recipe and combine it with compacted coal and use the turbo fuel recipe. So this is the plastic version of that. This is the rubber version, the heavy oil residue version, and the polymer resin version. Finally, there is the, the version where you can take the heavy oil residue and combine it with compact coal directly and turn it into turbo fuel. That's the heavy turbo fuel recipe. It's another alternate recipe. So this is the plastic version. This is the rubber version. This is the heavy oil residue version, and this is the polymer resin version. Now, these are all the same recipes because all they are using is just the heavy oil residue product 
as part of the either the plastic, the rubber, heavy oil residue, or the polymer resin recipes. There's nothing different between the recipes except how you get that heavy oil residue. And then hence how much each like rubber provides more heavy oil residue than what plastic does. Here's rubber, here's plastic. The heavy oil residue recipe itself provides a crap ton of, of heavy oil, and that's how you get the most out of it. And then the polymer resin recipe can creates less. Finally, coming around to the question people will ask me is, what's your favorite? Which one would you choose if you had to? My choice in any of these scenarios has, and I did not have this opinion until I did this, the heavy oil residue combined with compact coal using the turbo fuel heavy recipe. You don't have to deal with water and fluids. It's simply coal and sulfur combined with the heavy oil residue. You get a little bit more power than you do by diluting it and it costs a little bit less power. Uh, one thing you may have noticed that I haven't paid attention to is all of these biofuel generators and I have biofuel in my inventory, liquid biofuel. This is because I just wanted to individually power each production line so I could correctly measure the power consumption to make sure it matched what was calculated into my spreadsheet. Also liquid biofuel packaged rocks. So that is the end of my video on the top 18 best ways to make fuel, even though there's only two, but with lots of variations. You will be able to download this save file with the entire build that you can see in front of me and explore it yourself, rather than me extend out the size of this video and go in showing you different spots of it. You might as well explore it yourself. It's all color coded to match the different types of production that are occurring. The save file can be downloaded from the Satisfactory Guru website. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you soon.